How do I go about helping my son collect benefits left to him by his deceased father? His daddy had a life insurance policy <laughs> that named our boys as beneficiaries, and they would receive their monies on their father's 50th birthday, whether he was still living or passed. He died in uh, 2015 and would have turned 50 in July 2020. Let me set the scene here. I'm a mom. Please I use think the I'm word separated. daddy one more time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you don't say daddy, I'm not listening. I said it with like a big snap to daddy. His daddy. Um, I'm a mom. My son is incarcerated. He can't do anything. I'm mom. I don't have enough money for an attorney. Do I do anything? Can I do anything? What do I do? You can do... Okay, so if they're in Georgia, if they haven't set up an estate yet, they can file the probate paperwork in the county where he last resided. Courts will grant fee waivers for people who are unable to pay the initial filing fees. I don't know how many other children the dude had before he passed, but if she gets the consent of all the children, she can have a fairly uncontested granting of the power to gather his assets. Cool. Having said that, once she gets the power, though, it's a little bit of a treasure hunt. Where's Where, the life insurance policy? Where's yeah. the banks that his money was in? Life insurance policy with no beneficiaries go to the estate, but really she's probably going to go around looking for the bank accounts and all other stuff. I usually recommend is people go and find the decedent's bank account and go back to his bank statements and look through the lines. And if he had life insurance, it probably drafted out every month the payment. Then you're going okay. to want to have to find that. And sometimes it will just have the insurance company. And then you go to the insurance company and, say, hey. and make a claim for the – and let them know. They typically only can go to the beneficiary, but they make – they'll often confirm the presence of a policy there. And this is something, too, where a lot of people that are incarcerated will choose a trusted friend or family member and do a power of attorney while they're incarcerated. A lot of jails and prisons actually have mechanisms where they can kind of help people get that done. Yep. Yep, they do. Because it is because very common. Can you explain what power of attorney is? Oh, power of attorney. Oh, sure. I feel stupid. It's, it's actually, <laughs> I've heard this term so That's many times. That's the point of the show. It's too late to ask, but I'm going to ask. Oh, what no. is power? Explain <laughs> it like I'm an idiot, please. Let me explain please. agency law for you. Yeah, basically a power of attorney is a document where I can – give somebody else the right to act as my attorney in fact yes oh okay so i give that person the right to represent my interests as in if... a million different transactions yeah but powers of attorney are they can be very scary because a, a typical power of attorney gives somebody else a lot of power oh, yeah you can yeah it's and, by default yeah um, it's something that people have used to defraud family members so wow. it's something that if you know if you're talking about doing a power of attorney you have to really Really run it by an attorney. That's that is very cool. So if we were to make this woman a to do list, number one would be get power attorney, Probably. power of attorney. I for think that would make son. things much easier. I, I'll, gotcha. I'll start with that. And, okay. and, and, and there's yeah. an estate you would need to get the probate stuff started. But you want to gather up all the gotcha. heirs. If he had, if he's if that's power if he's attorney, the only kid, then it's heirs. easy. If the dude was married to someone else, then okay. it yeah, gets we, more well, complicated. We know there's two kids because the it was like one of her yeah, son his brother, and his yeah. brother. So yeah, I'm not sure he was yeah. married. So mm -hmm. power of attorney. Permission of heirs, do the probate, find the bank account, find the life insurance, distribute the funds. Uh, yeah, life insurance. Yeah, exactly. And After enough time passes after someone dies, most states it would go to the state fund literally for unclaimed – until someone eventually claims it. And most states have an online search. You might want to pull up the online search for unclaimed funds and see what's yeah. in there. That would cool. be, be the fastest way, actually. I would, yeah. say, I would even say, let's start with that. To see. <laughs> see if there's anything there, yeah, before <laughs> you go on a goose chase. Before, that's the well, freest solution. But, but if you go there and you look and nothing does show up, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It oh, just yeah, means yeah. that's it means not going to be the way to do it. Yet. Yet. Gotcha. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Guys, our law firm is dedicated to uh, making wills and trusts and helping people with end-of-life legacy preservation. Um, because of that, we've created a PDF, a downloadable PDF that is basically an intro to everything that you need to know about estate planning. Basically, the process of making sure that everybody gets what you want after you pass away. Um, you can go ahead and download that link in the description um, to get that PDF. Basically, you will learn everything that you need to know to create a great estate plan um guys thanks so much for watching by the way if you would like to work with us you can give us a call at 404-939-7562 um or send us an email at info at modern estate planning.com also if you could share this on your timeline that would really really help us out guys have a great day thanks so much for watching